Alright, let's get you, you son of a bitch. Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 with Mio X Fu. And, well, last time we left off with me not really understanding how to do Blast to the Lonely Island. Or to the Lonely Mushroom, not the Lonely Island. Where is that even from? Um... But yeah, like I said last time, I'm gonna try doing the long jump method one more time, because this is how I remember being able to do it. Yeah, there you go. So that's all you have to do. Huh. Danger, strong gusts, but the wind makes a comfy ride. Um... Okay, so if you fall off, does that mean that it just brings you back up? I don't, I don't really know. But I'm not going to risk it, because... You know what? We're here. <laughs> I think there's actually a way to long jump from the top of from the top of the mountain as well to get the star, but I might be wrong. Right, so we should be able to get it by shooting this way. Oh, just over it. And we hit an invisible wall, of course. <laughs> just over it. If I had kept it like just down a hair, like I had it. Oh, I would have had it. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> but it just means I get to do it again! I really love these blasts to, uh, like, to X or something as well. Like, I don't know what it is. I just like the ones where you have to use the cannon with precision to basically shoot Mario. Ooh, hello there, mushrooms! <laughs> um, where you have to shoot Mario so that he actually just catches on to something. And there's no reason for me to like them. Like, they're kind of the boring levels. Like, the, the one in um, Womp's Fortress where you have to shoot to the pillar. Um, the one in Jolly Roger Bay where you have to shoot to the top of the spire and then jump off. This one where you have to shoot right through the star. I think you go right off if you land on the mushroom as well. Alright, so let's try... Right... No, hair down. There. Oh! 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 I touched that! Like, you could... I don't know... I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but that looked like the star went right... But it looked like Mario's foot actually clipped through the star as we went over it. Now, before we go in, I just noticed this. Um, look at the core... Look at the course symbol. Um, course 12. That... <laughs> those are actually either they reuse those for Mario Golf or they reuse those for Mario Golf because those look exactly the same as the course well as the same as the same thing as the course things in Mario Golf oh the things you notice when you when you have to wait a few seconds for noise to die down <laughs> oh we have got to get it on this try because we've been spending way too long on this star. Right? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Speaking of spending way too much time on this star. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> At least I haven't fallen down this pit. That's one thing I can say. Neither of them, actually. So, I feel pretty good about that. Die, Monty Mole. Apparently, if you, well, not apparently. If you jump on enough of these guys, um, you whoa, in a row, you will actually get a one up from them. But it's so not worth it. <laughs> it's so much easier to get a one up from just anywhere else but them, because you're going to lose so much life actually trying to do it, or you're just going to spend so much time actually doing it, because I think you have to jump on like five of them in a row or something. I don't know if they have to be different ones or not, but it's just not worth it. Alright, so right about... I'm going to try there this time. Oh! Perfect! Bullseye right in the middle of the star. Alright, so... I'll miss- I'm going to miss you, tall, tall mountain. We might come back if, um, what- 
I'm going to show you guys doesn't work. But for now, I'm going to say I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario 64 with Mioix Fu. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Oop, wrong door. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We don't have time for this. We don't have the time for this. Oh, first I gotta reset my timer. There we go. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Super Mario 64 with me, Fu. I keep wanting to say Wario Land 2. Why? And you're gonna notice that we actually came back to Snowman Land. And that is because I believe... I believe... Okay, there's no... I believe when you lose your hat, you can actually come back to here as well. Um, just like how you can some how you if you lose your hat and you forget where it is, you can go back to Klepto um, in Shifting Sandland, or you can go um, to Tall Tall Mountain and find it with the monkey. No matter where you lost it, it will you can always find it with those two. I think you can find it here as well. I think there's a snowman that you can actually find who's wearing it. Um, I will... Oh, hello there, money bags. Um, I'm going to meet you guys when I find that guy, if I find him. If not, well, I'll just meet you guys later. So, be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I was wrong, so... See, I can't remember if um, it doesn't matter with Klepto or the monkey if it where you lost your hat if you can go back to the, those worlds and get it. Um, I know... I'll, I'll have to check that out sometime, but I... I'm pretty sure if you... Okay, no. It's if you lose your hat and come back... and Leave the level and come back that you can always find it with them. Because you, you've also got the cloud in this level who blows off your hat. But the monkey's always going to have your hat if you lose it and you can't find it. So if you do lose your hat from that cloud and he just blows it off but you can't find it in the level, just exit the level, come back, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's like, these. this is one of those, like, see, now the monkey's got it. He's going to always have it, no matter where we lose it. Um, unfortunately, he's the hardest thing that's not on wheels to catch. Come on. I want to get that shy guy. There we go. He's just going to be annoying. There we go. Got the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 And we'll just plummet to our death. We got lives to spare. Mamma mia. Now I am, I am gonna go back to Snowman's Snowman Land, but and I'm gonna lose my hat by having the big snowman blow it off. And I'll meet you guys after I go back to the level, after exiting afterwards. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello, guys, and well, welcome back. As you can see now, we're hatless, which means we now have to go find what happened to our hat. Now I believe what happens is one of these snowmen right near the beginning is the one that has your hat. Yeah, see, see right here, you can see your hat. Oh no, it just landed. Huh. I was almost certain that one of the snowmen would have your hat if you could, if you left the level without it. I guess I was wrong though. Huh, fancy that. Me being wrong, like it never happens. Sorry about that, my mom and brother actually had to come down for a minute. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Eh, whatever. It's not like about the snowman and the cap and whatever. Eh, whatever. It's not the first time I made my go to town for eight red coins. Ooh, and I actually picked the right depth of water to do it. Um, but I haven't shown you guys the way you're supposed to actually get over there, have I? Um, did I unlock the cannon? Ooh, I hope I unlocked the cannon. I'll have to find out. Uh, five seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one, no. 
Oh boy, so this no longer becomes go to town for eight red coins, but now it's also let's find where that pink bomb bomb is because, uh, I haven't had to unlock the cannon in ages. <laughs> um, I'm gonna work my way down though, try to make it a little bit easier on myself. Actually, I wonder. No, I cannot. Not up there. Where are you? Because <laughs> I do not remember. But no, that's not the first time I've embarrassed myself by saying, Oh, you can do this, this, and this. But in reality, no. <laughs> in reality, I'm just saying things, but I'm not thinking. I'm not actually remembering correctly. See, up here. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, cause ain't your average low K. No, no, no. Keep away from me, you vile fiend. Maybe he's next level down. Alright, let's lower you one more time, Mr. Water Level. Hope he's not on the very ground level. That would be ridiculous, because then I'd be wasting time. Because I don't do that already. Alright, where, where, where? No, he's not here. Where? Oh, where in the world is Pink Bomb Bomb Diego? <laughs> oh, best acapella. Because it's the only acapella that matters. I hate acapella otherwise. <laughs> Oh, uh, and don't really ask me why, because I won't really be able to tell you. I just don't like it. Okay, there's nothing back there. I think, oh, okay. That's nice. They can sing. Give me, give me, um, real instruments. What's this barbershop quartet? That, that's... I don't know. I like it, because more because of cartoons than anything else, but... <laughs> Why am I talking about acapella? <laughs> Anything up here? No. Darn. Where are you, Pink Bomb on? You gotta be somewhere around here. Somewhere... You gotta be somewhere... Oh, please don't tell me he's right on top of that platform that I'm under. See, this is what I like about Wet Dry World, though. It's actually a maze of a water world. Well, I guess maze isn't really the right word for it, because it's not a maze like how Hazy Maze Cave has a maze. Um, I guess puzzle is actually the better word for it, because it is a puzzle. I mean, you have to raise and lower the water levels. Like, I never even showed you guys this, I forgot about that. In order to get up to the third water level. Because I've always started it at the top, haven't I? Or used those flippy guys. Um, but no, you have to, you have to actually, like, raise and lower the water levels in order to get forward, like RPGs, like Golden Sun and all, stuff like that. Oh shoot. By the way, I remembered where the pink bomb bomb is, so... Oh. Don't sneeze. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I hate sneezing, it always hurts. <laughs> that sounded real... Whoa. Really sad, even for me. Alright, so we need to actually raise these platforms to the next level. Which I think is the highest, but... There we go. Because I actually did remember where the pink bomb bomb is. And I remember why I couldn't find him, because he's actually kind of out of the way. What do you say, sign? What do you say, sign? Sometimes, if you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point in a course, a red number will appear. If you trigger five red numbers, a secret star will show up. Yes, we already know, we already did that. Here is the highest point for the water level. And now we should be able to just follow these 
over here. Oh, we still gotta swim, whatever. <laughs> Not that big of a deal. And it's right up there that we have to get, and I believe we have to do a triple jump to do this. So... Nope. Yeah, because you just saw him right there. He's right up there. Why did I change to Mario Gale? It's gonna change as we jump, so... No, come on. I, I really... Oh, come on. I hate doing this jump. Like, I don't know why I'm so bad at it, because I've been... You've already seen me do triple jumps on even smaller spaces than this. It's just... I don't know why I can't get the right amount of forward momentum on this in order to actually do a triple jump. And, again, I'm... I'm like, 90% sure you need to do a triple jump in order to get up there. And see, now it's really easy to get up there once you get the triple jump down. But anyway, he's gonna prepare the cannon for us. And we can go to town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready for blast off. Whatever, man. <laughs> and cannon time. This is another one of those with the backgrounds. It's kind of cool. It looks like almost like an Atlantis or something. Aww, and even the sun looks like you're going through... through the, uh... through the water. Um, alright, so... Easy way to do this is line up with that corner right there. Alright, and then bring it up until you can just barely make out both of the one-up mushrooms, because you can still kind of see the last one-up mushroom. And then just fire. It should work. Perfect. Didn't even hit the back wall that time, which is usually the problem that I have with that. But... <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you remember the reference points, it's not that bad. To, it's not hard to make any of the cannon shots in this game. It's just, again, remembering where what the reference points are. <laughs> reference points, like it's an art. <laughs> oh, this is actually one of my favorite um, stars in this level, too. So. Because, well, like the last one, we have to completely lower the water level in order to get it. Ooh! Actually, this makes... Oh, shoot. We can't do... Huh. Oh my god, we can't do anything when we're Metal Wario or Metal Mario. Metal Wario. Oh, we can't even punch or anything. That's that's wow, I know I didn't even I've never even tried punching before, so I didn't even know that. What do you do? Are you blue coins? No, you can't be blue coins. Oh, you know what you are. You cause that to appear. So that you can actually get the star um, with the invisible cap, which is how you're supposed to do it, but you can just do the side flips off the cage, so it doesn't even matter. Anyway, where were we? We were going to get... oh. Pfft. Well, we could have just started over there, because we need to do that. We need to do side flips off the cage. So, bam. No, come on. Should be able to do it. I hate camera. Camera, I hate you! <laughs> there we go. That's probably the hardest jump to make in this mission, so... Um, yeah, mo I, I just love the, like, abandoned feel of this, too. Um, other way. Other way, other way. I just love how complicated some of these jumps are as well, because... You know me, like in those jumps. Second coin. Let's see if we can make a jump over to here. Oh! Oh! Almost. <laughs> that would have made things a little easy, but... Eh, whatever. Should be another red coin. That's the other thing. I like how you can tell where pretty much all the red coins are very easily just by the fact that they're in boxes. It kind of makes it a little too easy, but at the same time, this is such an alien place that I don't even know what I'm saying. 
One sec, I'll be right back, guys. Anyway, what was I talking about this town being so alien? That's just stupid. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I don't know. I just like that you have to break the boxes in order to get the red coins, that you just can't fly through them. Because otherwise these two would be a piece of cake. Because you just have to jump up and get them. Because I think you can do a double jump to get on this, can't you? Oh, no, you can't. Huh. Oh, you can do a side flip, though. That makes it a little easier, I guess. Um, I'm trying to remember how, how to get half of these coins, too. Is that, um, this is not one of those levels that I'll go back and redo. Like, I'll go back and just come to town. <laughs> I'll go to town in town. Um, 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 um. Not for really, um. <laughs> I'm trying to th think where that last red coin is, because I can't... There's only one more. Is it up there? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. But no, I like that you actually have to do something instead of just... Like, just running through the coins. There we go. And that is all for Wet Dry World. I will miss you, because you are also one of my favorites. I mean, Wet Dry World, Tall Tall Mountain, and Hazy Maze Cave, those three are probably my top three levels. I mean, I've, I've told you guys why. Tall Tall Mountain is just fun. Hazy Maze Cave, I love the atmosphere. And Wet Dry World, I've already explained that to death. So, what do we have left? We have... Ooh, wait a minute, we did not get a hundred coin star in Wet Dry World. I am ashamed of myself. So next time, we will actually be going right back in and getting the 100 coin star. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play War uh, Super Mario 64 with me, Oxfoo. Take it easy.